Hi! Let's belly dance, ladies. And if any of you boys out there want to give it a whirl, well, that's just dandy. Here we go. Okay, today let's just focus on our hips and what to do with them. But before we can get started, you need to uh, you need to know a couple of tricks about the posture. Okay, here's the deal. This is how I usually stand. Blah. <laughs> okay. Ah, you do want the shoulders back. The bum needs to tuck in just a little. Not an over exaggeration, but just a slight tuck. Because in doing that, you can do butt pops now, okay? And that's going to matter when we start moving everything around. Because if it's already out there, well, where are you going to go? Okay? So there is a tuck of the tailbone. So kind of view it as back, central, front. So you do pelvic pops too, right? Pop, 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 pop. You will also find in the tail tuck, it does take pressure off of your lower back and feels really good. You might even find yourself doing this when you walk from now on because it's helped me a lot and uh, it does matter. Um, also, if you do not have this posture and belly dance, you can hurt yourself. Okay, let's show the belly because then it helps accent the hips and what's going on. Okay, so not only are we going to tuck the tailbone a bit, we're going to bend the knees. So, have a little spring to them. If your knees are straight and locked, as mine are right now, where, where are you going to go with that? But once I bend my knees, guess what? I have a lot more movement now. Okay, so our tailbone is tucked. Our knees are bent. This is the belly dance posture. Um, this will allow you to execute the moves more dramatically and safely without hurting yourself. Now, that's a good girl, sweetie. Yeah, I heard that too. You're a big girl now, you little watchdog. Good girl, that's good. Enough, enough. You did a good job. Did a good job. <laughs> okay. So, first off, I'm not sure how well you can see my legs in the mirror behind me, because I know in the camera it's not getting everything, but it's good to be able to see from the back and the front. So you want your legs slightly bent. Notice how when you just move your legs, you're already creating some drama here. You're just kind of a marching in place without lifting up your legs. Hip drops are very common in belly dance. 